standing ovation has created two little stories, and they are only five years old. Hansel and Gretel comes to life. Starring two teams. Jordan Stewart and Lexi McIntyre. Long ago, a woodcutter lived on the edge of the large forest with his two children and his wife, who is the children's stepmother. The woodcutter had a daughter named Hansel and another daughter named Gretel. And though the woodcutter worked hard, he was very poor. One year there was a terrible famine, and the woodcutter had no more food for his family. The children were very hungry, and the woodcutter's wife complained that the whole family would soon die of hunger. So she spoke to her husband one night while the children were asleep, and thinking she couldn't hear, they couldn't hear her, she told him that they must take the children deep into the woods and leave them there. But Hansel was only pretending to be asleep. She heard them talking and woke up Gretel. Hansel told Gretel, they're going to take us into the forest and leave us. And, Han and Gretel said, oh no. But then Hansel and the children were both very frightened. Then Hansel said, I have a plan. Later that night, Hansel snuck outside while Gretel went back to sleep. And Hansel gathered as many white pebbles as her jacket pockets would hold. And then she too went back into the house to pretend to be asleep. Then the next morning, their stepmother mother woke up Hansel and Gretel, and they both got up. Gretel did 
did not know that the woman who seemed so nice was really a wicked witch. Before Hansel and Gretel woke the next morning, the witch carried Hansel. While, he, while Gretel was asleep, the witch carried Hansel to a little cave she had built and locked her inside. Now she tackled all that in him up and will make a tasty bite for me to eat. And then she woke poor Gretel. Get up! And ordered her to get water and cook food for Hansel, for she wanted her to look, grow plump. Bring back that water. Go feed your sister. Hansel and Gretel cried and begged to be set free. They said, please let us go. Please let us go. But the witch just laughed. Each day the witch, who could not see very well, asked to feel Hansel's finger through the bars of her cage. But she cleverly gave her only an old bone to feel, so that she thought she was still much too thin for her to eat. Four weeks went by, and Gretel could see that the witch was getting impatient. Boy, she's getting angry, Gretel said. And one morning, the witch ordered Gretel to make a fire. Make a fire. After a while, she told Gretel to climb into the oven to see if the fire was ready. But Gretel said, how can I get into the oven to see? The witch became angry at that and climbed into the oven to show Gretel how to look at the fire. Quick as a wink, Gretel gave the witch a push. Oh, no! And locked her inside. And then she quickly freed Hansel. And having nothing to fear, they explored the witch's house. They found boxes of jewels and gold coins in every corner. After filling their pockets, Hansel and Gretel 